Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Prime Rib Roast Au Jus. Well, if you're looking to cook a prime rib for your next special occasion, this is probably a good place to start. What we're gonna try to do today is make a perfectly seared then roasted, three bone standing prime rib roast, and then a really nice flavorful sauce or jus underneath it from the pan drippings and a handful of other ingredients. And it's probably way easier than you're thinking. Now we're starting off with this three bone prime rib. Uh, this is from Creekstone Farms, fantastic beef. We're gonna season it, season it very simply. We're gonna start with a Worcestershire binder on it. And then we're gonna hit it with our brisket rub, which is very simply salt, pepper, garlic, and celery seed. Gonna press that in and help it attach. Let's do the ends here. don't really need to do any trimming on here. You certainly can if you want to take off some of that fat, but I kind of prefer to leave it there. Today we're cooking our prime rib on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. Right now it's running hot, 450 degrees, and we've got the diffuser door out so we can get some direct heat on the skillet and sear this thing off. Now the skillet's hot. We're gonna throw it on a couple of tablespoons of beef tallow for searing the prime rib. That tallow's hot, so we're going to start by searing kind of the presentation side first. Getting a nice sear on here, building a nice crust. We're going to get that on the bottom side as well before we start to build this jus. We're getting some great color here. We're just going to hit the ends real quick and then set up the roasting rack. We've got a nice sear on all sides now, so I'm going to move this over to a roasting rack. And then we're going to start to build our jus or our sauce in the pan here. I'm gonna throw down a half cup of red wine. Woo, let it burn off. A little cab sauve to deglaze the pan. Now let's add two cups of beef stock. We might throw more in later, depending on how the level's looking and about a tablespoon of that same W sauce that we used as a slather. Then this is our flavor base for our jus. Now, the way we're gonna amp the flavor up on this is we're gonna throw the prime rib right over the top on the roasting rack. That way, any juices that drip off, any of this fat is gonna fall right into here. The other thing I'm gonna to do to add some flavor to this is we're gonna make a little horseradish butter to slather our prime ribs. So one stick of butter, one tablespoon of horseradish, one tablespoon of Worcestershire. And then we're gonna do about one tablespoon of finely grated garlic. And give this a good mix. And then we're gonna slather it all over that prime rib. Let's give this a good slather with our horseradish butter. Some of that flavor is gonna stick to the outside of the prime rib. Some of it's, or a lot of it's gonna drip into our sauce that we're making underneath, and that is just fine. Now we've got this positioned just right so it can catch the drippings. We're gonna leave it off a little bit indirect, uh, but we're not gonna put that door back in. And just wait for this thing to come up to temp, about 125 to 130 degrees internal. So this has rested a good 20 minutes now, which kind of lets all those juices redistribute so that every little bit of it is gonna be juicy. What we're gonna do now is take off these bones here. There's some good snacks in the middle, so don't throw those away. And then we've got this whole hunk that we can slice, slices off of nice and thin to dip in our au jus. Crazy juicy, nice and pink right in the middle, but still cooked enough that this is rendered out a bit. It's right where I like it. Kept the skillet warm on the grill to make sure that our jus would be warm as well. Let's get a taste. It's stupid good, honestly. It's so tender. We got it at the right finishing temperature, but that au jus makes everything so much better. Got the beef stock just a hint of wine, 
The Worcestershire adds a lot of extra stuff to it, even though there's not much in there. I mean, this meat is gonna be great on its own, but you dunk it in that jus, you're set. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.